Hello and welcome. My name is Stephen Eddy and today we're talking about the, a very touchy subject called the gaseous effects of broccoli on the intestine. Now, I'm a scientist, trained scientist, chemist, physicist. So um, I actually ate um, 250 grams of broccoli for lunch just to show that it does affect some people and may not affect others. But in this beautiful paper titled Broccoli Consumption Affects the Human Gastrointestinal Microbiome, um, this paper talks about how it affects the microbiome. And the beautiful thing about uh, broccoli, and I'll cut a long story short, is it's very good for the gut microbiome. Now, it, it, has, it has a couple of effects on the body. The, the first thing is that there's two phyla or groups of bugs in the gut that are very popular, and that is the firmicutes and the bacterioides. Now, the firmicutes don't make you firm and cute. They actually draw more calories out of the food and make you absorb more food, which is great if you're starving, but if you're trying to lose weight, it may not be, may not be good. Ah, and um, the second thing is that the, the bacterioides are the other agents. And what happens is, is broccoli drives down the firmicutes and drives up the bacterioides. Now, this is a highly beneficial um, a highly beneficial sort of uh, process in the body. So the good thing about this is that we really, really need to, you really need to chew your broccoli very well because this is a cruciferous vegetable that grows above the ground. Now, when when um, when when the broccoli grows above the ground, it's very fibrous. Now, when it's very fibrous, the bacteria in the bowel breaks down the fiber and ferments it and turns it into uh, gas. So um, the gas is very very bad and causes discomfort. So cook your food properly and chew your food, and you should be fine. Thank you. We're done. Yeah. Oh.